Our planet's alarm is going off and it is time for all of us to wake up and take action now. The world is being inundated by plastic. More than 400 million tons of plastic is produced every year, half of which is designed to be used only once. Of that, less than 10% is recycled. An estimated 19 to 23 million tons ends up in lakes, rivers and seas. Today, plastic clogs our landfills, reaches into oceans and is combusted into toxic smoke, making it one of the gravest threat to the planet. Not only that, what is less known is that microplastics, the tiny plastic particles up to 5 mm in diameter, find their way into the food we eat, the water we drink, and even the air we breathe. It is estimated that each person on the planet consumes more than 50,000 plastic particles per year and many more if inhalation is considered. Led by the United Nations Environment Programme and held annually on 5th June, since 1973, World Environment Day brings together millions of people from across the globe, engaging them into the effort to protect and restore our Earth. This year marks the event's 50th anniversary. It is not surprising that plastic is so commonplace. It is relatively cheap to produce, durable, flexible and easy to transport. Made from fossil fuels, it began to be mass-produced during the Second World War as fossil fuel extraction fed plastic production, everything from household appliances to medical devices were produced using plastic. Around the world, one million plastic bottles are purchased every minute, while up to five trillion plastic bags are used worldwide every year. In total, half of all plastic produced is designed for single-use purposes used just once and then thrown away. We are seeing other worrying trends. Since the 1970s, the rate of plastic production has grown faster than any other material. If historic growth trends continue, global production of primary plastic is forecasted to reach 1,100 million tons by 2050. World Environment Day 2023 is a reminder that people's actions on plastic pollution matters. Posted by Condivore and supported by the Netherlands, the theme will focus on solutions to plastic pollution under the campaign hashtag beat plastic pollution. The steps governments and business are taking to tackle plastic pollution are the consequences of this time. It is time to accelerate this action and transition to a circular economy. The good news is that we have science and solutions to tackle the problem and a lot is already happening. What is needed most now is a surge of public and political pressure to scale up and spread actions from government companies and other stakeholders to solve this crisis. This underscores the importance of this World Environment Day mobilizing action from every corner of the world. While solutions must engage every sector, government and local authorities need to drive change, introduce laws to reduce the production of harmful and unnecessary plastics, incentives, sustainable business practices and invest in better waste management infrastructure. Individual actions underpin the systematic change required to transition to a less plastic-dependent economy. Each of us can use our voice and choice to drive change. Addressing plastic pollution requires a systematic change with actions across the life cycle that addresses its root causes rather than its symptoms. This is a big challenge, but one that can we must take up. Time is running out and the nature is in emergency mode. 
To keep global warming below 1.5 degree this century, we must have annual greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. Without action, exposure to air pollution beyond safe guidelines will increase by 50% within the decade and plastic waste flowing into aquatic ecosystems will nearly triple by 2040. We need urgent action to address these pressing issues.